everybody home? What's up? People are showing up. Got a stingray earlier. So I'm cutting him up right now. I'm gonna try for shark bait. I've never used this before. I was told it was good. Probably should have a sharper knife to be out right on. Slippery devil. Got bait jumping around the boat. Come on, you. Big chunk. Let's get these lines out. Then I'll come over and say hi to y'all. It's been, it's been a minute minutes since we've done this and it's my bad really there you go big chunk of stingray i don't know looks good to me all right which way are we going boat the boat can't figure out where it wants to go we got the breeze coming this way the tide's going out are we gonna, if we're gonna sit like this i'm fine with that you just have to tell me all right we're gonna roll with this pretend like this is how it's gonna be Talking maybe too true. Okay. There. Gonna move this rod holder over here. Am I? No, I'm not. I'm gonna stay right here for now until this thing decides what it wants to do. Sorry for the delay. I'll be over momentarily to say hi. Shoot the breeze. While we wait to get thunderstruck. I have a shark, hopefully. Shucks, that looks good, man. Ugh. I mean, you guys tell me, if you were a shark, would you eat that? I would. I'd eat it wholeheartedly. that's not going to get tangled up. Hopefully not. Jeepers, that's deep. Got a nice little deep hole right here. All right. Top of the morning to everybody. Hold up. Hey. Let's turn it over a little bit. What's up? I'm Guy. Gear up survival says, get the banana off the boat. Gear up, you're the only banana on this boat. No, I don't. But uh, is the, um, how is the, how is the uh, reception? Still good? Was it as good as it was earlier? What's up everybody? Still, I'm adjusting you on the tripod. A lot of bait in the area, it seems. Golden, that's what I like to hear. Not bad. Are you drunk in your videos? What would make you think such a thing? What's up, Macy and Mia? Let me put you guys in the 
eyes out just a little bit. Technical situations. There we go. It's a little better. A little better. That way I'm not squat, like hunched over. There we go. All right. Two shark lines out to start. We're at high tide. The tide is starting to fall. See tons of bait on the graph. Um, I just threw some fresh, um, what's that called? Stingray out. I've never fished with a stingray before. I was told it was pretty good. Oh, you know what we're going to do actually? We're going to put the stingray in. I'm going to put some sunscreen on so I don't die in the heat because it's hot. I'm going to put this guy back in the cooler. Those lines might be a little close, but we'll leave them for now. I got a stand down wind of this here. Try not to compound it. I'm trying not to double it and give it to the next person, you know. Ugh. Let me give you guys the business here. That sounds terrible. Um, what we're doing is we're actually fishing a spot I've never fished before. So I don't know how this is going to go, but that's all fishing, you know? I do know this. This channel runs at about 16 to 18 feet along here, maybe 16 to 20 feet. Right behind me where those two lines are in, they're in a hole that's about 34 feet deep. And so I like that, I guess. A, 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 a hole, oh, there's a little trough that sits down here that's about 10 feet deeper than the rest of the channel. I mean, if I were a shark on a hot day like this, that's where I'd be. So we're trying to think like a shark and get after it. So I'm so bloated. I'm so bloated today. I have just been chugging water. If you live on the coast or just in the South in general, you know what I'm talking about. Like you got to just chug a lug. I mean, there's just no, you, you can't, you can't not chug a lug. But I just feel like, ugh. part of it is I am getting fat. Um, I've gained like 12 unnecessary pounds. Don't ask me how. I've been out filming a lot. But the fact remains, I'm still about 12 pounds of unnecessary weight. Um, so, you know, extra padding, whatever you want to say. What's up, Heidi? So I tried to go back through. Oh, I missed a donation. My bad. Uh, for, I think it's from Heidi. I see the H, man. Heidi, big supporter of the channel. Where, why can't I click on it, Heidi? Heidi, thank you so much. Oh, I'm trying to hide her comment here. Stop it. This is hard to do. There we go. I, well, I thought I hearted it. There we go. Now we're cooking. Trying to look at you guys through, um, through the glare on my screen. I see Northwest Fishing Secrets is in. What's up, bro? How is the other side of the country? Thanks, Fish for Claim. Um, uh, what does that say? Fishing for Claimers, okay. We are fishing, honestly, it could be any shark. So there are bull sharks here. Um, there are tiger sharks here. There are going to be a lot of like reef sharks, like black tip, and uh, a lot of um, sand sharks and Atlantic sharp nose. We also have uh, bonnet head. There are also... Um, hammerhead sharks and every once in a while in fact a few years ago i was told one of the great whites that they tagged actually ended up in uh, uh where was that was it was it it was a sound like saint helena's sound or saint helena's sound i don't know i don't know how they say it around here i think it's helena saint helena saint helena sound anyway it stayed there for like two or three days so anyway there are a lot of sharks 
that we could potentially get after. Oh, I missed another couple of donations. Lock3 in California, $7, says, Hey, Mike, I used to watch your old streams back in grade 12 science class. Nice. Now I'm a business owner. Just wanted to let you know you're the best on YouTube. Thank you, man. G good luck with business. Luis Rodriguez donates $20 and says, uh, When are we getting a seven, holy cow, a seven day survival video? Catch, cook, survival. Um, seven days, man? Do you, like, you want me to perish out here in the great, uh, in the great unknown? The great salt air? Uh, I don't know, man. I mean, maybe. I never say never. We might do seven days. Uh, Northwest Fishing Secrets reminds me it is Shark Week. I, I don't know. I had that on my... Oh. oh, there's one. Look at that. Look at that. I totally forgot. That, oh, oh, he's going. He's going. Oh, oh, oh my gosh. There she goes. Oh, my heavens to Betsy. Well, there's a fish right there. I forgot it was Shark Week, kind of, because I've been working. There's one to start off. Let's go. Let's go. Well, that was fast. Good grief. That's on that, uh, that's on that, uh, oh, jeepers. That fish is angry. That's on that stingray, y'all. I doubled them both up with stingray. I kind of gambled. I was like, we're just going to put stingray on both of them. Holy jeepers. A 34 foot hole. Putting in work early. Come on, baby. Let's go. Come on. We're a long way from the boat. Did I bring my net? Yes, I did. Hold on. I got to grab my net. Feels decent. Feels decent. Come on. Here we go. I'm going to move you guys this way. Got a boat coming by. Got to keep an eye on the water here. Let's go. You know, it's under that. Ah! She's swimming up, so so far so good. Feels like it's got some weight to it, though. Definitely feels like it's got some weight. Come on, baby. I guarantee you she's not gonna be happy when we get her up to the surface. Keeping that drag loose a bit. Come on. Come on. This is how you like a live stream to start, you know? It doesn't always happen this way. But I'm sure happy when it does. Oh, God, please. This is a solid shark right here. This is a solid fish. I actually met a guy when I was out today. They were going out shark fishing. He showed me a shark fishing rig set up. And y'all, the shark fishing rigs I got right now, good for probably up to about a five foot shark, maybe. Um, maybe four and a half feet. Uh, but quite honestly, anything bigger than that, I'm just, I just don't have the tack. And, um, boy, that thing is pounded. Um, and he showed me his setup. But he goes out, he said, I caught a nine foot uh, tiger shark this spring. So we're getting, we're gonna get us some heavier duty setup because yeah, I mean, if I hook a nine foot tiger shark on this, I'm just gonna watch my spool just and then they're gonna be like, we're just gonna all watch it together. Wave to it as it goes by. There she is, she's at the surface. There she is, coming in hot. Let's take a look at that. It's not a bad shark right there to start off. No, sir. That's three and a half feet. That's three and a half feet all day, twice on Sundays. <sighs> Woohoo! Come here, baby. Uh, come on. There. Oh shoot! Dang it! So close! So close!
That was a clinic on how, how not to net a shark, a fish, shark too. It's kind of hard because I'm fighting the current because the current's going out. I'm trying to pull it against the current. Oh man, that hook's perfect in the corner of the mouth. Perfect in the corner of the mouth. This is really a two-person job. Be downright honest with you. Ah. I just can't get her turned this way. I'm fighting the current. Really is the big thing. Donna. The other problem too is the rod is so long. Good grief. Shoo! Sorry you guys are getting a bit wet here. We'll get her in the boat. Somehow my line is wrapped around my reel. How did I do Oh, that was my head. Yeah, this rod is too long, honestly, for this kind of thing. I need a second person here. Ah, there we go, got her. Now we're cooking. Woohoo! All right, let's go. Oh my goodness, that's a workout to start. Shoo! Oh, oh I missed some donations. Oh wait, maybe not. Oh. Let's see, is the, as long as the screen is clean, we're good. All right, got some gloves on here. Show you guys this piggy. Ha! Nice little, nice little sand shark, if you will. Let's see. I did bring pliers. Always a good thing. Yeah, we're gonna upgrade our shark equipment, y'all. We're gonna upgrade our shark equipment. So if one day we hook, because what's going to happen, man, we live here. One day we're going to hook a true monster of the deep. And I'm not going to be caught flat footed, except for maybe today. There you go. These fish are incredibly strong, too. You really have to hold them. There you go, guys. Ha! That's a good way to start the live stream, I'd say. That's over three feet, I guarantee it. Over three feet. Got some good chompers on her right there. That's a beautiful fish. Beautiful, beautiful fish. Let's get her back in the water. Up, up, up. Not before I get all tangled in. Watch her release here. She's biting my anchor rope. That's always nice. go. Cool. Cool. Off she goes. Let's go. That's one. We're not going to be skunked today. Yes. Love that. We have had live streams where we have fished and not got anything. Not this day. Not this day. She ate it, man. For those of you just joining, she ate up that, uh, um, Whatever this is called. I can't forget the name of it. The stingray. Caught some stingray earlier. Get some fresh stuff on. Oh. That's my kind of action right there. That's my kind of action. Here's that, here's that stingray. Just cut chunks off of it. Get another piece on. still looks pretty good. Don't see any fraying. There we go. All right, so what I'm using on this rod right here, we've got like 60 pound braid maybe it's 50 pound 50 pound braid 
And then I've got an 80 pound mono leader. But there you go, it's a big old bloody chunk. Head back out. Out she goes. I take my gloves off first, actually. had like eight of these today and um let me get you guys back there i've only gone to the bathroom like once plus two teas two lemonades and a pepsi oh and a gatorade oh man phew i'm gonna I'll, like wipe the screen off a bit of course i have no rag Gotta stay hydrated. There we go. All right, back in business. I don't even remember what we were talking about. I think we were just talking about fishing. Um, what's up, wife Kendra? Thanks, John. But you've been joining me for two years. That's a long time. Just cleaning the screen off so I can read the comments here. Shark splashed a lot of salt water. I need a little, a little, uh, what you call it, rag for this. Oh my goodness. Y'all, it's been a minute. When's the last live stream? We live stream like what? I was asking, I was telling my wife, I was like, I don't think I've live streamed for like, like a month and a half or something like that. It, it's been a minute. I missed y'all. I missed you. I missed the Phalange Army. It wasn't because I wanted to not live stream. It's just that, well, I was busy filming. And then, uh, just had all kinds of stuff going. I'm mostly busy filming. What's up, Matthew from Charleston, the motherland? But well, it's good to be back. And, um, what's up, Dylan? Uh, the, um, uh, the tough thing I was saying this when we were trying to get it all set up this afternoon uh, A lot of people don't realize like it's really difficult to find good connection to live stream especially here Whatever reason in the south like I would think here at the coast. It's wide open Seems like the service would be good, but it just isn't like literally this spot right here I have three bars and 5g if I go about a half a mile around the bend here. It's like one bar in LTE It's terrible. I go my ping test goes from like a like a three and a half to four star right here to like a one and a half star right over there or a one and a half star right up there like they're just these little pockets so i'm forced to fish these little areas like some of the places i go and film i would love to go live stream where i'm filming these videos catching like reds and stuff like that but the 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 speed tests are just so terrible there's just no way we could live stream so it stinks um so i'm just really limited to what i can do and that's just goes to the same thing like on the lakes and the rivers and stuff too i would love to take y'all to watery and go catfishing because we could probably slam like 25 catfish in a live stream but i have like one and a half bars out there it's ridiculous so this kind of sucks but it is what it is thanks katie need to go to bulls bay for shrimping you know I, that was like one of the first places i actually heard about the good shrimping was bulls bay so maybe i will take a trip down there i actually bought myself um some shrimping poles uh, like legit shrimping poles, like 14 foot, nice made, cost me 200 bucks shrimping poles. And I've got my shrimp license, my baiting license, purchased that, it's on its way. So I'm ready, man. I'm ready. There's a boat. Pleasure cruising around. Nice. 
noise, noise. Anyway. What's up, Hannah Jill? I'm guessing it's Jill and not Gil. I could be Gil. What's up, Hannah? What's up, Merle? Sup? Matthew says they have the biggest shrimp around. You got it. You know, I got some good tips from the guy who uh, sold me the shrimp poles, actually. So, I'm really excited to go back out again this year and, uh, you know, just get it on, dude. Six weeks. We got about six weeks to go. Man, I'm pumped. Pumped. Psyched, if you will. Got to hang on. Uh, thanks, Lefty. Got to hang on to the, to the stand here. We got some waves in the boat coming through. Thanks to everybody who's donated so far. I appreciate it. As always, you guys' donations, I don't do, it's been a while since I told you this. Most people know, but for those who don't, I don't do any pay for stuff, like pay for content on my channel. It's all free. I don't have like a, hey, pay five bucks a month to get extra content. I don't do that, but I do have people that are like, Mike, I'd like to support you. Do you have like a Venmo or something like that? Or whatever, or like a, what are those other things that you can, you can, donate to people i forget i forget what it's even called but i don't have anything like that but this is the way people can do it and that way if you want to support the channel you can you don't have to um but if you want to support the channel like a lot of folks do i mean we've already gotten 45 dollars in donations i really appreciate that almost always have major support every time we do a live stream but then that way you get some content back too like you're not just giving me money and i don't know i like there's like a little give and take there for me personally i mean I know a lot of those when you like pay in for subscriptions, you also get like extra content, I guess. But this way, I don't know. I guess not all my live streams are great either. So <laughs> I don't you know. It's like, I can't guarantee anything on the live streams, but at least, hey, we get to interact, we get to chat, hang out for a bit. And I've missed doing this, man. I really have. It's, it's like, I was lamenting the fact about a week ago that I hadn't done a live stream. So I'm glad this worked out. So anyway, and so I try to keep it mixed up too. That's the other thing that's hard. It's like, you know, we go to our towers a lot at Lake Murray and fish, which is fine and good. But uh, what's up, Tisha Key? Yes, don't forget, check the snakes for trees. Got to make sure those snakes aren't hawking any tree, you know? Make sure they're not, yeah. Um, but uh, yeah, so we like to, uh, I like to try to keep it fresh with the live streams. And I feel like we've done the towers a lot. I only shark fished one other time. And the last time we did, I think that was actually my last live stream was out here shark fishing. But the video was so grainy. It was terrible. I went back and tried to watch it. I couldn't even watch it. And I think I'm annoying. Like, I couldn't even listen to myself. I was like, gosh, shut up. So I took the video down, all that to say. Um, so I try to keep it fresh for y'all too. So we've got like some different stuff going on all the time. It's not just like, hey, we're back at the towers for like the eighth time this year. The towers are fun. It's fun to catch fish there, don't get me wrong, but I don't want it to get old for you guys either. Mike, you should try handlining some sharks, bro. That is an excellent idea. Maybe that's like a um uh maybe that's like a, a survival challenge idea. Like I can't use rod and reels, I gotta only use like hand lines and and gigs. So I don't know. All kinds of fun stuff. I've not found it. No, dude, wild pickles, they're kind of out of season now. You'll have to ask Northwest Fishing Secrets. Maybe they're in season over there. I kind of doubt it. That was pretty late in the year. Uh, I don't know if he's done any foraging for the old wild pickles there, but uh, they're definitely in his area. I guarantee you that. You just got to know what to look for. So. <whistles> Five foot long stingray. I believe it, man. I believe it. Dude, these stingrays, man, you get a big old ray, and it's like impossible to bring in, man. It is impossible. It's crazy. Chris Brown, dude, no, the gold rush thing is something I want to try. Isn't that like a March and April thing? Um, uh, the gold rush, I definitely want to get back in on that. In fact, I think I was looking at that. Somebody had messaged me on Instagram about where I could do that in Virginia. And it's only like five, five and a half hours from my house. Um, so I gotta do that. Like I do, I've gotta, I'm, I need to make that trip up. It's just one of those things, it's like, 
it's got to be multiple days, right? Because if I want to drive five and a half hours, I want to at least fish for like two full days, maybe three full days. So, um, but I got to go try that. It sounds like fun. It sounds like fun. Oh, look at that hit right there. Oh my gosh. Did you see that? I know you guys saw that. Dude, how, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Come on, baby. Here we go. Did I get it? Oh, did I miss it? She's not swimming towards the boat. Dude, how did I miss that? I felt it bending down again, and I have a circle hook on, so for the first time in my life, I didn't swing. No, no, she's swimming towards the boat. She's swimming towards the boat. Oh, Lord have mercy, she's under the boat. She's under the boat. Look at that rod. She's under the boat. She's swimming up river. I gotta loosen the drag. Ooh! Oh yeah, now she's figured it out. Now she's figured it out. Oh sweet Moses. Got another good fish on here. Come on, baby. Come on. What's this, dude? kind of dead weight this isn't a ray is it do rays eat other rays that's dead weight right now she's literally right under the boat she's coming up i mean it feels heavy though. that's the weird thing oh no there's a little a little flutter come on i'm kind of bull rushing her right now come on no, that's a fish, yo. I mean, duh, it's a fish. It's just, I don't think that's a ray. This fish has not, I don't, I, this fish is confused. It hasn't figured out what the heck's going on. When it sees the light of day, another nice shark. Yeah, there she goes. Now she's figured it out. Ha! Come on. Shark number two. Point you guys down. You can check out the action. Come here, baby. It's another nice one, man. It's another nice shark. In fact, I would almost say that's a little bigger than the last one. Maybe by a couple inches. Come on. Come here, baby. Dude, they love this ray. Good grief, this is like candy, shark candy here. Man, that hook is perfect right in the corner of the mouth. Ah, there you go. Come here, baby. Yes. Woohoo. Shark number two. That's a little bigger, I'd say. I'd say a little bit. Man, we're crushing it on our first live stream back in like eight bajillion months. Good net. I never fished this spot before. Never have, but that deep hole, that 34 foot hole down there, it's holding fish. It's holding fish. For those of you who weren't here earlier, this channel runs to about 15 to 20 feet deep, maybe 15 to 22. Right, right back behind the boat, it gets down to 34 feet, 10 to 12 feet deeper than the rest of this channel, right along this stretch. So our hunch was right. These fish are hanging out down there. Oh man, that hook. Actually, I gotta show you guys this. Look at this. Look at this. Gotta be careful. Don't want her biting me. And they're just so strong, dude. Look at where that hook is right there. I mean, is that not picture perfect or what? Yeah. Yeah. You get that out. Ugh. Come here. It's okay, baby. You're not lunch today. There we go. Ah! Oh! Good grief. That was almost really bad. She's powerful, dude. Just that's just like pure muscle. I'm trying to make sure I don't get hooked. Make sure she doesn't come back and bite me. She bites me like that, starts thrashing around. Yeah, that is that is end of the live stream right there you're gonna hear some not so high adventurous words either dude she's still trying to go she's caught up in this let's get that out of the way she's still
Still in there. Oh shoot, I got one on that. We got another one. That rod's going. There you go. Shark number two, we got a third one on. Let's go. This, this is nuts, dudes. This is nuts. Oh, left hand reel. Here we go. Shark number three. This is insanity. Whoa. Let's go. Oh, she just brought, busted it. She just busted it off. Holy cow. Good grief. We better drink our milk tonight. It's going to be lively. Yeah, she busts the whole thing off. Dang, I'm about to retie that whole thing. Bust it right through. Dang. That's okay. That's okay. Get this one back out. Holy goodness. Yeah, let's get some, get some more. Get a big chunk of this ray out. Yeah, get the tail off. Woof! Good grief, y'all. This is nuts. This is, this is my kind of fishing, I'll be downright honest with you. This is how you dream about things going. Do they go that way all the time? Absolutely not. The sharks are down here and they're hungry. They're down here and they are hungry. There you go. Big old bloody piece of ray. Is my thing still on? Oh, I just can't see it from the glare. That's what they're, they're porking down on, dude. Chowing down on, whatever. Porking, chowing, I've heard it both ways. Let's just throw that big old piece out. There she goes. Better keep the net close by. All right, all right. Let's get this other one retied. Dudes, let's go. Let's go. Keep an eye on that rod for me, will you? Shoo! That's what I'm talking about. Can I do a bluefish catch and cook? Maybe, dude. Yeah, so I do check the leader every time. The leader on the one I just threw out looked good. I ran my finger up and down it. It looked good. Of course, I say that watch. It don't bust off. You know it. Just because I said that. It don't. It don't. It's got a Peter Pan right off that thing. There you go. We got 80 pound test. That's our uh, leader, mono leader. I love that. Why is this acting all? Acting up. Acting up. Dude, who else had dolphins there? Yeah. We've got like seven plus feet of shark already, yo. That line broke at the leader because I lost everything. I lost it all! Yeah! I lost it all! Oh. You sink. What size is that? That's a three. Oh, I'm thinking. Phew! Gosh, I, wish, I wish we were a point that like this because the glare is just so awful. Like right up in your guys' grill. Do a hand line 48 hours. There you go. Me, me, me. Oh, I just tied this and I didn't put the sinker. Why can't you put it in? Let's not do that. Add your sinker, then add your swivel. Guys, I had a lot of fun doing that. Uh, that, that bush hooking. That was flipping amazing. 
I'm gonna do that again. I want me a piggy catfish. I want like a 40 pounder or something like that. Those peanuts were fine. Good for eating, but I mean, I'm not ungrateful, okay? But I was hoping to pull up one of those lines. Oh man, that burns. I was hoping to pull up one of those and have like a 25 pound flathead or something on the end. That was the wish. Where that came from. I think I was this all my own one and a wish. I thought of that. Isn't that a Mariah Carey? Could be anybody. Feels good. Oh, I like that a lot. Yes. Yes. A thousand times yes. That's what I'm using. I got like these straight shank offset. in the business let's get given the business one of those sometimes I just say things like Michael Scott sometimes I just start a conversation I don't even know where it's going I, I tell you what people are always like Mike I want to fish with you I'm like no you don't nope you don't want to fish with me because ladies and gentlemen I spend 95% of my fishing life, uh, currently, by myself, me and my own thoughts. When there's somebody else on the boat with me, it's like I don't even know how to act. Because I'm used to just talking to myself, talking however I want, letting my inside thoughts become outside thoughts. And then somebody else on the boat, my neighbor experienced this about a week ago. And it just was like... I, you know, I haven't seen that neighbor since then. We'll put it that way. So, careful what you wish for. Fishing with me isn't going to be the same. I'll just tell you that right now. You might not be the same. You might not look at high adventure videos the same after that. You might be like, what in the world? What am I, what am I letting, what am I watching? Would you be right to, to, to think that, to question that? go little blue crab that i caught earlier he's just been sitting on a cold towel so he's kind of comatose right now but that'd probably be good bait actually to talk to in fact my dad and my brother are both like dude we like we didn't realize how much you talked until you moved away and when we go fishing it's quiet on the boat when mike is not there it's like like 20 minutes will go by without anybody saying anything it's probably while i'm really good at live streaming folks we've had like seven hour live streams talking is a strong point <laughs> it's not a weakness that's for sure. Probably also why I don't have many friends. I'll, I'll be down right honest with you. All right, so we've changed direction. The, um, the, what is this? What do you call this? Current? The tide is rushing out, but the wind's not pushing us. So I'm actually going to move this rod to this side of the boat. So there you go. Look at that. we got a big old flap. We've got a big old chunky flap of that ray on. Like ringing the dinner bell to these guys. Out you go. There we go. There we go. 
set that drag loose, but not too loose. All right, back in business. Well, these guys are pulling hard today. What did I bring for snacks? Ooh, where'd my water go, actually? Question numero numero. Wait, where did my water go? Oh, it's... My water was right by the sea. Australia, thanks man, appreciate it. Two rods back out. Now this thing says grip and rip. It's a lie. It's a lie. It's a bold faced lie. The goal just hide my bait. Party is here! I am Guac is in the house! Darn right! Now we can begin. Now we can begin. Let's keep an eye on the rock behind me. I can't see because the daggum glare. Oh, I can see it. Hello from Long Beach. Nice. Hello from South Carolina. Greetings from Germany. Catch them all, I will. Good so far we are. Holy cow. This is a fast start to a live stream. Sounds windy. It's a little breezy. Honestly, it's not bad though for the coast. Usually it's a lot windier than this, so I'll take this all day long. Greetings from Florida. Thought I was rolling a blunt. <laughs> no, no sir. It's just a slim jim. Yeah, there's some clouds moving in. A little chance of rain tomorrow. I'm heading home tomorrow, though. So, going to go back to the mountains for brown trout. I will. Right now, all the trout, though, are like 100 feet deep in the lake. <laughs> Spices of the Slim Jim, excuse me. I actually... <coughs> wow, that goes down hot. Um, I actually want to learn how to do the downriggers just for that very reason. To be able to go and do uh, that lake fishing even in the summertime. So, probably add that to a list of things to learn while I'm here in the south. Greetings from Michigan. Have you tried Kool-Aid chicken as bait? I haven't yet, man. I hear that's like the bomb now. You and me both, Jennifer. You and me both. Stingray shark candy. Well, why didn't I know? Oh, so does anybody know? Can I geek these rays? If you live in the south or maybe just anywhere up and down like the east coast, um, you know those rays, right? Like what we're using. Like they, they're all over in the shallows. They're everywhere. They're almost like crabs. So like everywhere. Am I allowed to gig those? Do you know? Can I just spear them? Because that'd be a lot easier than like trying to net them. I don't think they're a game fish, are they? Anybody know? Somebody out there with more knowledge on the subject. Hit me up. You can gig raise. Justin confirms it. Justin, if I get in trouble from DM Moore, you come not get your door. I'm gonna, I'm gonna throw hands. If I get like a $250 ticket. Like you can't gig raise. I don't know why you couldn't spear me either. They're all over the place. Nobody eats them. Nobody does anything with them. They're like a trash fish pretty much. Everybody hates catching them. What's up Count Blockula? I am Guac doing five dollars for you. that went anywhere man it was a good thought though if we gave it our best but dude thank you for the you -hoo. i appreciate that your brother-in-law of course there's somebody that loves catching stingrays of course oh so i don't know if i told you guys this but 
when I did a camping video down at the coast, uh, it was the first time I John Boat 10 camping, so that was like two months ago. One of the things I edited out of the video, at night I hooked a stingray. It was so big I couldn't even get it up to the boat. I got no video of it, and filming at night is is cheeks, straight cheeks on a boat. It's all it's like not even worth it unless you have like even floodlights. It is like okay, but I hooked the stingray and fought it for like 25 minutes. Wow. Um, until finally, like, I just, I got below it. You know, I was doing all the stuff, like, it would suck to the bottom, you know, like, I'd have to, like, jerk it off the bottom so it'd, like, keep moving around. But I got, like, right over top of it, and I couldn't even lift it. Like, my rod, I had one of these rods. It was just, I was surprised the rod didn't stand. That's the ugly stuff. Um, actually, these are pen rods. My bad, pen rods. Um, I couldn't even lift it. Finally, it just broke off. Like, it was so big. I can't even, I didn't even how big it was, but it had to be probably like four or five feet across. So, there you go, that's my story. Landon wants to know if I'd ever visit the motherland of Idaho again. Absolutely, Landon. In fact, I'd like to go back and ice fish with my buddies again. Um, I'd like to hit up some of the old spots too, man. Do some sturgeon fishing again. A little trout fishing. Like, I'm sure it's going to happen again. I have walked on it's five dollars. It says, I have ego go. I'm guessing he meant I have to go. But before I do, oh, I just went back. Please, please go get some beefcake jerky and pork teriyaki. It's insanely delicious. It's a game changer. Alright, dude. I'm going to do it just for you. I'm going to do it just for you. Walk, thank you so much. Have a good one, dude. Have a good rest of the week. Um, thanks for stopping in. And thank you for the donations, man. I really do appreciate it. You don't have to, but you do anyway, and I appreciate that. I appreciate the generosity. That's right. In fact, speaking of which, um, uh, Europe Survivor. Oh, Charles is hanging out at the DMV. Charles, great way to pass the time at the DMV because. Time knows there is no time in the seventh circle of hell that is the DMV. Um, speaking of my Instagram, though, um, I'm going to be doing so young in two and a half weeks. Well, in fact, what's today? The 27th? I have 17 more days of my 20s. In 17 days from now, ladies and gentlemen, I am turning the dirty 30. Goodbye, 20s. Hello, 30s. I'm old. We can no longer do the gritty. Uh, those kinds of things. Anyway, wrap, bringing that back around to my Instagram, I'm going to be doing a ton of giveaways in the month of August, which is my birthday month. I lost a raisin. Oops. Actually, I'm not going to eat that. That's been on the floor of the boat, and there's been a lot of stuff on the floor of the boat. So, I'm not eating it. Anyway, there is no five-second rule here. Um... But I'm going to be doing a ton of giveaways. So, I mean, it's always only on my Instagram. I never do giveaways on YouTube. A lot of scammers out there comment. Um, uh, try to comment on my videos. Like, hey, you won. That's never me. That's never me. Um, so, I'm going to be doing probably like half a, like six giveaways in the month of August on my Instagram. And it's cool stuff, too. Like, I've got some cool stuff. So you're going to want to be following to enter some giveaways on my Instagram. That's the only reason I have Instagram, is to give you guys sneak previews of videos coming up, behind the scenes footage, and giveaways. So you get ready, because August, it's coming in hot. Because I haven't done a giveaway either for like three months. That's ridiculous. What am I doing? That's ridiculous, really. So anyway, there you go. Wind noise. I know, dude. I, I can't. I can't. Contrary to popular belief, I can't control the weather, so, sorry. Just going to kind of have to live with it. Hopefully, it'll start dying out a little bit as the evening sets on. Oh, is that a bite right there? I just saw that line jump. We got to use some drag peel in here pretty soon. That, though. Uh,
Would I ever fish for piranha? Absolutely. KFC chicken works for snapper. Interesting. Hmm. The more you know. Thanks, John. We're in the USA. This is in the south of the USA. Dropped an almond. He goes overboard too. No nut left behind. Hmm. How many you have to look at? Yeah, we've caught two sharks over like three and a half feet long. And um, we lost another one. Mr. C is doing great. Thank you for asking. Had an ear infection. Uh, and the doctor thinks he might have swimmer's ear. So we got that under control though and he's doing a lot better now. Thank you for asking. Aloha. Wait, what does that say? Good one, boss? Oh, have a good one, boss. What's your favorite bait for shark? Well, currently it's Stingray, dude. This stuff is legit. How long have we been, been streaming? 56 minutes, we've caught two shark and missed another. I mean, three sharks in an hour, basically? I'm not gonna be unhappy about that. Am I gonna eat one? You know, if we get a smaller one, I actually probably will bring one home to my kids. So, yes. Probably not eat it during the live stream. Fighting a lot of wind, fighting fish, potentially fighting some weather, fighting the current. But, um, you know how it is. Okay, so I was not required to get a commercial boat tag. I was just being cheeky. I wasn't required. I got one so I could set more crab pots. You're only allowed to set two crab pots per person in South Carolina. And um, so I got my com commercial license so I could set up to 50. Now, my boat obviously can't handle 50. And I don't have any interest in setting 50. But like, I don't know, a few more. I was down with that. So that's why I got the commercial. Mm. This is good, I don't have supper yet. We're due for a bite, ladies and gentlemen. We do. When are Ace and I gonna do a cook-off? I don't know, ma'am. I don't know. Do I need to get a what? A boater's license to go out on the ocean? Uh, I mean, you have to have your boat registered, but that's it. What's up, Jose? <coughs> that nut went down hard. Good grief. There's bait all over in the creeks right now. Never been fishing on the Great Lakes. Never. What's my best catch so far of 2023? Oh, good question. Um, I forgot what I've caught so far in 2023. Let me see if I can move you guys around here a bit. That way, maybe the wind noise isn't so bad. Personal best catfish, like a 32, 33 pound catfish. Um, Got any crazy ocean fish? I'm trying to think about the videos I've filmed so far. Um, Charles donates a dollar. Charles, thank you. Thanks, Spicy. Have like a little, have like a dead cat microphone and stuff. Like that. That do much, the problem with that is y'all can't see any frogs. Yeah, 
You've done pretty decent over in Shim Creek. Oh, that's good. jumps out at me my personal best catfish that was cool haven't caught any massive crappy uh got some nice striper but i think i catch a lot of striper got some nice shark but nothing huge or crazy you know the bonnet head shark was pretty cool because that was a bucket list fish too probably have to go with the catfish pulling out that big piggy catfish that was cool Alex says, happy early birthday. Miss Patty, thank you. Thank you so much for the donation. We're going to do a birthday live stream. Probably not like on my birthday because it's my 30th and I should probably be celebrating with my family. Um, but we'll do it around the time. I'm going to bring like a cake out on the boat. I don't know. Maybe we'll do cat fishing. Here. This is a cat fishing. Maybe we'll do shark fishing again. Maybe we'll bring out some heavy duty shark rods. What this do? I don't know. I'm having fun time. starting to rush or, or the tide's really starting to go out now it's it's whipping pretty good we're right we're right in the sinkhole though so hopefully hopefully those sharks will still be hanging out in it my birthday is august 13th august 13th we say goodbye to the 20s it's been a good 20s y'all the 20s were good to me. I got married. I've had three kids. I've worked four different jobs. Became a full-time YouTuber. I don't know. I feel like I've done a lot in my 20s. I'm satisfied. When I'm old, when I look back at my 20s, I feel like I went on a perfect balance of adventures, but also, like, looked to the future and tried to set myself up for success later. I don't know. Right now I can say that anyway. We'll see. That's true. Having kids is fun, man. Just add so much life to your, uh, to your day. It's fun. Your pole is moving. Well, yeah, it's going to move a little bit. We're sitting in some pretty good current right now. So, it is what it is. Do you have any goals for 2024 yet, bro? I'm halfway through 2023. I'm, I'm kind of just not quite living in the moment, but uh, I'm a... Uh, let me let me make it through uh, 2023 here, and then we'll think about 2024. Now I, I'm not looking out that quite that far yet, personally. We got six months to go. Wait, like eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I guess five months now. The new baby's doing good. The new baby just turned eight months. Not so new anymore. Braxton James, eight months old, just got his third tooth too. Got his third tooth. Chance asks, what is better? Freshwater or saltwater? You know what? I'm going to turn that back around on you, Chance, and everybody else. What are y'all enjoying right now? You guys enjoying the freshwater or the saltwater content? Put it to a vote. Freshwater or saltwater? What are you going to see more of? Jose says the fresh. There's a one vote for the fresh. <coughs> nut went up my nose <coughs> salt salt uh, two for the salt pablo just goes right down the middle i don't even know what happened 
of y'all are spelling here. About 50-50 right now. Fresh creek fishing. I gotta go do some creek trout fishing. Northwest Fishing Fever says fresh. All the water. That's fair. And geez, this current is ripping. I got three out sinkers, so we'll hit them but not me. It's gonna be a bear pulling shark up through this thing. I tell you what, y'all, right now it's difficult because it's so hot here in the south that the freshwater fishing is cheeks. Like the striper fishing right now, people are catching striper like literally in the middle of the night. Well, filming in the middle of the night isn't exactly the greatest, all right? Never mind. Uh, and obviously during the middle of the day, it is just so amazingly hot now. Um, like everything is just dead. Even like the panfish fishing getting great. So I tend to come down to the coast more in the summer and the fall because like everything out here, like the shark is lively, the crabbing's good. Six weeks from now, the shrimp is gonna be on. Um, even the redfish is good. The trout, I think you can catch a few trout here and there, but the trout are more cold, kind of like typical trout. They're more of a cold water. You can catch them though. Um, shoot, even like flounder and stuff. But there's just, I feel like there's more variety and the bite is better in the salt water uh, this time in the summertime. And, and the river, I feel like the lakes won't start getting good again until, depending on the weather, but golly, like October, man. Like end of September first part of October, the lakes start to kind of get good again for about two months before they head into that cold winter stage. Um, so I tend to do more saltwater stuff. You're going to see more saltwater. Um, but the bush hook thing, dude, that's flipping phenomenal. We might do more of that. I think we're definitely going to do more of that. Um, we'll add that to the list. At least do it one more time and, uh, sprinkle dinkle that in. Um, Thanks, Northwest Fishing Secrets, man. Take it easy. Thanks for tuning in. Have a good weekend, man. Have a good weekend. Uh, tomorrow's Friday. Woohoo! Does your wife ever go fishing with you? Um, you know, she does. Actually, she went on, when we were first married and when we were dating, she went on multiple fishing trips with me and the boys. So she's done it. But, um... And we're gonna get back to that right now. We're just in the middle of having kids and stuff like that. So, you know, you got an eight month old, not not very easy to bring an eight month old out into, you know, 95 degree weather at the coast and go fishing. So I'm kind of more doing it as work right now. Um, and uh, and we're gonna get back to that. We're gonna get back. In fact, I've got, I've talked to her. I like, I like a bigger boat so we can go out and do stuff like as a family, do stuff like that. Um, Maybe even trade in the old SS, not trade it, but like sell the SS High Adventure for a bigger SS, like just SS High Adventure XL. You know, I have a 16 foot boat. I think I'd like a 20. I feel like a 20 I could still handle. I feel like 18, while it would be bigger, I feel like wouldn't be quite enough. I think I'd get an 18 and be like, I wish I got a 20. So I think I want like a 20 foot boat. I could still handle it. Probably still roll with like the tiller handle. I like this open concept here. I want to still be able to like go camping out of my boat. So whatever that would look like. But uh, but then that way I can like take everybody out too. I've actually been taking the kids out recently for striper fishing in the morning. We've had a blast. We've had a blast. We've done that a couple of times now um, in the past week and a half. And that, we've had a lot of fun. But I'm like already looking at like, you know, they're little and it's fine right now. But they're not going to be fine in a few years. Like it's going to get tight pretty quick on the boat. So we'll definitely do that some point in time. Katie, yes, there'll definitely be some hunting one day. I just pour all my money into fish right now. Jose, I won't sell the wells. Jose, if I want to upgrade the boat, I probably will sell it. I'll probably just get basically the same thing. It's just a 20-foot version of the same thing. So, and I don't know if I really care to, like, if it's going to be the same thing, I don't really need the 60-foot So, anyway, I'll let y'all know before I sell it. y'all want to buy it it's fully loaded we're not selling it anytime soon but i don't know maybe next year or something like that we'll see we'll see
get a pontoon boat. I thought about that actually. That would be a good like family boat. Let me see if I can let me see if I can turn you guys into the wind or like like with the wind. Let's see if that's better. Have to come sit over here though if we're gonna do that is it better when you guys are facing like with the wind is that better is it worse you tell me because i'll sit on a dang cooler if i have to is this bet so it's better like this then okay we'll try this you guys might not be able to see the rods very much Trying to make the evening pleasurable for you guys as well. But I like it when you guys can see the fight, but that might not necessarily always be the way. Thanks a lot. Now I gotta sit on this uncomfortable thing. Always complaining, man. Always complaining. Beautiful evening out here. A little breezy. That's okay. It's been a minute since we got a bite. We're going to stay on the live stream until probably the sun sets. So we got like another hour and a half or something like that. We ought to, we're about due for another hit though. I feel like. Is it not hot? Well, you know, it's cooling down now, so that's nice. I'm trying to decide if I'm going to get rain tonight. I do have my rain top on my uh, tent, but it kind of looks like it might rain. Biggest shark ever caused only like a four footer. Thanks, Gear Up Survival. Well, I'm glad you enjoy it because I enjoy doing it. So it works both, it works out great. It's a win win. Ever been sailing? Hold up. Is that but that looks suspicious? Nah, maybe that's just in the current. Anyway, I have not been sailing. Not been sailing. You're welcome, Jessica. My pleasure. It has gotten a bit breezy. There's definitely a front moving in here, though. Don't know if I like that. It's supposed to be staying the night. It flooded out. Ah, uh, we'll probably be fine. Allegedly. Thanks, Pablo. Glad you're enjoying the videos. Hmm. Dude, that thing is acting suspicious. But it's not. Maybe it's just the current. Hmm. Keep an eye on that. When do we get Micah's cook seasoning? Dude, I gotta find somebody to like help me make seasoning. I know Asa has like the bearded woodsman um, do his. What's up, Gabe? I gotta maybe get with him. You could come out with a high adventure seasoning. Thanks, Giggle Pop. Yo, bro, Jordan. I'm finning it. I have never been fly fishing, no. Your boat ever break down? Yeah, I actually, one time, it was my fault. I hooked up my batter, my, my engine batteries to the Dakota lithium batteries. Well, at the time, I didn't realize what a starter battery and just a normal battery was. Well, the Dakota lithiums are bank batteries, which is just basically just lots of power stored up. But it doesn't, it's not a starter battery, which is totally different. 
So I get out on the lake. I started up a couple of times. You know, I'm out and about. And this is like, I was, I was, I was doing something. I don't remember what I was doing. But it was late. It was like 9.30 in the evening. And then all of a sudden, I go to start it and it just chook, chook, chook. And I got nothing. And it's like 9.30. The sun has set. It's getting dark. So I'm out like in the middle of the lake um, with no battery. Um, my trolling motor doesn't work. Um, no lights on the boat work. So I'm like a sitting duck in the middle of the lake. And um, I unhooked the batteries. Oh, I totally MacGyvered it. So I had lithium batteries for my power tools. I unhooked those and then I attached my, um, my what you call it, my, my trolling motor leads to the lithium batteries on for my um uh for my power tools got the trolling motor going and um how did I do it yeah they got the trolling motor going through that got about halfway spent about half an hour with the trolling motor getting back to the dock fortunately it wasn't windy um and then by that time I don't know the batteries had reset or whatever I tried hooking it back up to the batteries of the trolling motor and the trolling motor was the only thing that worked Got the whole trolling motor hooked back up to the batteries and spent like another 45 minutes trolling motor back in. Anyway, that was a lot of fun. I got back home at like 11 o'clock at night and uh, that was a fun experience, but that's where I uh, that's where I learned the difference between a startup battery and a regular bank battery. Learned the hard way, if you will. So that was fun. It was a good time. We didn't die, so it, I can look back on it fondly. Do more overnight on the boat videos? Yeah, dude. We'll throw it down. Yes, my brother is Ace Videos. What's up, bro? Give us about five minutes. I'm going to check the bait. I don't wonder if part of this, though, is just this current. I don't know. Maybe the sharks are out of the current. That doesn't make sense. It's a deep hole still. But it is just ripping. Jordan donates 0.79 pounds. Thanks, Jordan. Appreciate the donation. What am I going to make with the shark? Probably more shark nuggets, man. The shark nuggets are bomb. The bomb.com, man. Those are good, dude. I, was, I, I kid you not. Shark wings? Holy smokes. That's probably like the best recipe I've made this year. Probably top three on the channel all time. Kid you not. That was that good. Got two words for you. Ridiculous. Make some shark stew. Hey, there you go. I like it. That's a great idea for a video, man. Shark stew. My boy didn't seem to like him. Yeah, I think they're a little spicy. I think the sauce I put on them were a little spicy. Did he try some? I don't remember. I guess he must have. I mean, I, like he would have. Shark burrito. What's my favorite type of fishing? I, I don't have a favorite type, man. I like it all. I like it all. I recently discovered deep sea fishing. Holy cow, ladies and gentlemen. I have stayed away from deep sea fishing because I get seasick really bad. I haven't been deep sea fishing in like 13 years. I kid you not. Um, but I had a buddy convince me to go out with him. He said, hey, take this concoction. You won't get seasick. So I took it. Sure enough, I didn't get seasick. We went 35 miles off, off the coast. And oh my gosh. I'm addicted, man. I'm, I'm like on Facebook Marketplace. I'm like looking at deep sea fishing boats. I'm like, well, how much this car? I know you get a nice used one for like, I don't know, 40, 50,000 bucks. Like, that's not bad. You get like a 25 footer. Like, oh man, that was so much fun, dude. Oh, that was, a, I, I, that was stinking fun and the thing that made it fun was not getting sick really and so it's like opened up a whole new world to me so i don't know that deep sea fishing though know, that deep sea fishing is just next level
make ceviche. What was this? Um, um, 11 beer skirt seasickness. Yeah, I'll bet it does. So the concoction was you take a Dramamine, the less jazzy Dramamine, the night before, as well as two of the ginger Dramamine chewables the night before when you go to bed. Then when you wake up, you do the same thing. You take a less drowsy Dramamine and then two more chewables. And, and like I said, the, it, it was not, the C's were definitely not friendly when we went out, but it did not bug me at all. I mean, we were boom, boom, boom on that boat. And I did not get sick at all. It was awesome. It's really fun. I'm gonna check the bait on this. this it just, perplexes me that we haven't I mean after starting off with like three fish in the first 55 minutes we have not gotten anything else but maybe it's just this current ripping I don't know could be that maybe they've moved out of the current we're fresh in the bait up either way Jeez, this thing's out there I thought you said you should be a Canadian. He said comedian. It's like, why would I be a Canadian, bro? Now we'll put fresh piece on. Oh, there you go. Please go fly fishing. I don't know, man. Maybe one day. Holy cow, did you guys see that? Did you guys see that pelican behind me? Just totally Peter Pan into the water. Please tell me my, my phone caught that. Did my phone catch that? Holy cow. I thought a shark jumped out of the water. I was all excited. I know, I'm going to do another challenge video. Um, I'm going to do another challenge video for my birthday month, absolutely. Oh, indeed. Indeed. You sure did. Sure did, said the goat. Here you go. Look at that. Mm. Big old steaky steak. <sighs> yes, I will do more overnight challenges. Rebecca says Ace is the goat. Somebody give Rebecca a 300 second timeout. I'll take that kind of. I'll take that kind of blasphemous talk on my channel. Rebecca, why are you the way that you are? What gives you the right? How dare. Get this thing to skip. There you go. Oh! Dude, this water is ripping! That gum! Got to do another kitty rod challenge fishing video? You got it, my man. Patrol motor is working hard to keep me in this spot. I 
I'm obviously the better fisherman. There's no doubt about that. Rebecca wants bluefish. All right. Do a line only challenge, no poles. Maybe. So many good ideas flying around here. What tastes better, trout or catfish? I'll take a trout. I'll take a trout on that one. Take a flyer on the trout. Bro, I just did a candy rod shark fishing. Have I caught any fish yet? Yeah, dude, we caught two big old sharks so far. Two sharks. Oh, I forget. Not everybody's here. Shame on you. <laughs> now, we've caught two sharks, y'all, and we missed another one. This current's picked up, though. I wonder if that's doing something with the bite. I don't know. Seems like the current's usually pretty good, though, because it, like, you know, it spreads the stink around a little bit. Usually, typically. Usually you want a little current, but maybe this is too ripping. I don't know. I don't know. I'm trying to get at this Slim Jim here. Can't freaking get that. Golly. Grip and rip my candy. Grip and rip with some pliers, maybe. Here she comes. Look at that. Giggle pot for shame. Dude, I'll bet a shark would love a Slim Jim. Kidding me? Ace is just better. Y'all know it. What is it with people coming and just dumping on my live stream? On me? You know? Golly. Y'all want to show love for Ace? Go over to his channel. Good nick. Come over and dump on Mike today. Boy, that Slim Jim went down hot. Whew. Oh, come out hot, too. You know it. <coughs> well, that'll wake you up. You need to, like, sniff it. A little sniffing Slim Jim salt. of thrust do you have on your trauma that was unnecessary um i have 55 pound thrust um yeah i think that's what it yeah i think it's 55 pound thrust it's like the lowest i could go because i don't need a lot because the boat is so light so oh god dude slim jim's still coming back to bite me I'll take that. Love for both brothers. I like that. What's up, Gabe? Holy cow, man. Six Carmen live scopes? That's like 14,000 bucks right there. Walter Burrow, check it in. Holy cow, the comments are flying in right now. Giggle pop, take it easy. Stephanie, happy birthday. Happy birthday to Stephanie. I feel like somebody's just bragging about how many boats they got. I got six boats, six live streams, live scopes, whatever. Come on, man. Come on. Thanks, man. Texas, check it in. The Ancient's the best YouTuber in the family. Come on. No, that's fair. My dad's got awesome stories. Do I work out? No, I don't. I used to. I worked out a lot in high school when I played football. Used to, so I guess I've got residuals from that. You have six strings on your guitar? Nice. That means you got six guitars, right? Uh, 
Way to just flaunt your wealth, man. Way to flaunt your wealth. I played running back and linebacker. David's got six kids. Hello, David. Slow down there. David's like, I don't even care, man. I don't even care. Good for you, David. Do what you want, man. We live in a day and age where everybody like, it's like, oh, kids, yeah. It's like, yeah, that's your attitude towards kids. Don't have kids. Like, please, for the rest of us, don't have kids if you don't want them. But let those of us who want to have kids, just let us have our kids in peace, man. I don't care if you want six kids or two kids or one child. I don't really care. As long as you love them and take care of them. Anyway. Mark's got six rods and six reels. Okay, Mark. Okay. Okay. AJ Conley is going, like, we're going to, like, hide user on this channel. Holy jeepers. Yeah, also. Put that user in. Thanks, gear up. Bro's got arms. Dude, I know, right? Like, I'm still, this is all like high school. I don't know, does this go away in your 30s? Hopefully not, man. And I got legs to match. I didn't skip leg day in high school either. So I, I was like, I never got abs. I never spent the time to get like abs, but I got like good chest, buys, tries, legs. So I was happy with it. Dad bod. Actually, I am kind of heading that way. Like, I do have like 12 unnecessary pounds on me right now. I do have to lose that. Just good living, man. Actually, I don't know how I have that much with all the stuff I do. I don't understand, honestly, like, how. I do, I am, I don't, yeah, I don't get that. I'm really busy. I don't sit around. It ain't even football season yet, man. We got 15 chickens. All right, slow down there. Let's not, uh, let's not, you don't want to tell everybody about all the wealth you have, man. You want to keep some of that under wraps, man. Thanks, Pablo. My birthday's not for another two and a half weeks. We'll have a birthday live stream. Maybe we'll come out and do this right here. Bring a cake out here. Catch sharks. Randy's got six toes. Randy. Oh, come on, Randy. You know, if you've got a defect, I wouldn't, like, also air that out either. Ha-ha! Uh -huh. Yes! Oh, I got, a, I got a $1 donation. Thank you, Jacob. Do you prefer adventures alone or with others? You know, the thing about adventures like this is that I do get to share them with y'all. Or even, like, uh, my videos. My videos will be, like, y'all will get to enjoy them. Not at that moment. You'll get to enjoy them, though, later. So, I like both, man. I like going out with people because there's something fun about, like, you know, you catch something or do something epic right there, being able to share it with other people. It'd be like traveling by yourself. You know, traveling by yourself and, like, taking in, like, sites or historical things. It'd be like... That would be fine. That's good, but like to not be able to experience that joy or that that fun sensation with somebody else, I feel like would be kind of hollow. That like going and seeing, you know, I don't know, the pyramids by yourself. I'm like, yeah, that's cool, but like it'd be way more fun to go with somebody else and we like talk about it and wonder at it, gaze at it, take it in together. I don't know. That's just me, but. Tell you a joke. I don't know if I have any good jokes right now. I don't know if I have any good jokes. I've got one. I, I made it up. Wait, okay. Uh, wait, wait. Did I tell you? Okay, see, I'm already getting old. 
Did I tell you guys, stop me if I did, about, did I tell you guys the joke, um, about the guy who saw the meat hanging in the bar? Did I tell you guys about that? The meat hanging from the ceiling in the bar. Rabbit wants to see more bent cat hooks. All right, Rabbit, Rabbit, thank you for the donation, man. That is super generous. Thank you so much. We'll do it again. We'll do it again. Um, that right there, dude, that thing all excited for bush hook setting, man. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Actually, that's probably what I'll do next week. Give the salt water a break. Maybe. We'll see. Uh, I haven't told you guys. Okay. All right, all right. Here we go. So I'll tell you this. All right. So it takes a minute to build. All right. But, but bear with me. You're going to love this. Or you're going to hate it. But that's all jokes. All right. So this guy walks into the bar Friday night. Walks into a bar. And it's packed. The bar is packed. And obviously the first thing he notices when he walks in, there's a bunch of meat hanging from different levels of the ceiling. And he's like, what? It's weird. So he fights his way through the crowds, gets to the bar. Oh, never mind. There's a bite. Hold up. About time. Oh, she's peeling. Holy cow, there she goes. Remind me to finish that joke later. That time we got one. Gear of Survival totally called that. Ah, Mama Sita! She's coming this way. It's either not, not that big of a fish, or she's just swimming towards me. I knew, I was like, I was, I was like, this, this is so weird. We catch like two, miss another in the first like 55 minutes, and it goes, wait, what's up with that? I don't know if that, wait, oh, it just came off. What, oh, like it literally just came off right there. Come on, man. Man, it's cheesy. That is ridiculous. I mean, it, like, it, like it wasn't that big. It had to be a small shark. It had to be a small shark, dude. Oh, come on. You know that line peeling? <laughs> Pish posh. All right, we'll get back to the joke. Let me drop this back down. Once the joke's done, I gotta check that line too. Because I put a fresh piece of bait on this and then like, what, eight minutes later we get hit. So, gotta keep that bait fresh. Freaky fresh. Dude, I, I don't even know how I lost that fish. All right, anyway, back to the joke. So, guy fights his way through the crowds, gets up to the bar, signals the bartender, says, hey, yeah, he said, hey, I got a question for you. Bartender's like, what do you want? He's like, I, I got a question for you. He said, what's with all the meat hanging from the ceiling? The bartender said, oh, this is, this is fun. He said, have you never been here before, obviously? He said, um, on Friday nights, we have a challenge. If you can jump and touch all the meat, then drinks are free for the night. Drinks, uh, you get, get unlimited at the bar all night. However, if you take the challenge on and you can't touch them all, then you have to buy everybody's round. We have got to buy all rounds for one hour at the bar for everybody in the bar. So, so that, that, if you don't make it, that, those are, that's the risk you take. So he said, do you want to give it a go? The guy stops, looks up at the meat, he's thinking about it. He goes, you know what, no, the stakes are too high. Yes! Oh my goodness. Oh. I don't know why, I get such a kick out of that. I told that, who was that? I don't remember who I told that. They were like, dude, that is a terrible joke. I was like, that is a phenomenal joke. That is a phenomenal joke. Get out of here. Just don't know comedy when you hear it. Oh my goodness. Let's get a fresh piece on this one. Ooh. Oh, sorry, Lee. Yeah, I'll, I'll catch something. Just for you. Just for you. Lee said catch something, so I have to now. 
I have to. I'll stop, Matt. I'll stop playing around here. We'll get to it. We'll get to it. We got a nice chunk on, getting on on here. Ryder didn't like the joke, Ryder. It's not, just don't know good comedy when you hear it, you know? I can't help that. I just realized we've caught two fish and lost two fish. We're two for two. We're like the Raiders. Start off hot, and you're like, oh my goodness, this is epic! And then just go Cheeks McGee the rest of the way. You gotta have some redemption here. Come on. Come on, Mike. Don't fudge this up. Pablo has a quick question, as long as it's quick, Pablo. Is that still going down or is that just... Make it fast, Pablo. Time's ticking. Christmas or Fourth of July? I'll take I'll take uh, Christmas all day long. I'll take Christmas all day long. Um, simple reason: the build-up. There's some build-up to the Fourth of July, but you really don't start thinking about the Fourth of July till like maybe a week before, maybe even like a few days before, right? Christmas, there's like I mean, there, Christmas. Now I'm not a fan though. I don't like Christmas starting in like September, right? But all these places, I mean, there are places right now putting out Christmas stuff. That's going too far. That's just like Christmas stuff needs to come out after Halloween. And that's just all there is to it. This, this whole like Christmas, like I'm not watching Christmas in July. You know, I'm not a Hallmark, not doing that kind of thing. Uh, but Christmas, give me Christmas, you know, November 1st. Dude, let's start ramping up. Let's go. Let's get it, let's get it in for a good two months here. I don't mind that at all. Um, so that's just kind of, I don't know. That's just how I feel about it. Cash is here on her other account that is not modded. I highly doubt that. I highly doubt that. I think we have a we have a cash in sheep's clothing here. Oh, it's her for sure. This is like Gear Up Survival's girlfriend or something like that on you. I just know it. I just know it. Gear Up Survival's trying to pull a fast one. You ver Dude, how are you verifying that? How how are you verifying that? Gear up survival. I would love enlighten me. Now I don't set up my own. It's your mom's. Hmm. I don't know. Oh, she recalled the shirt. Ah, oh, that's fair. That's pretty. That's pretty decent for her. Now, here's the next question. Why is Tash on a different account? Explain yourself. What's up, Mona Cooper? Mona Cooper sent me a box a while back with a bunch of stuff in it. She had like, actually Mona Cooper, I used some of the mustard you sent me. Thank you for that. She sent me like all kinds of coffees and stuff for my camping. Um, I haven't used them yet, actually, it's oddly enough. But Mona Cooper, thank you. Alan's reporting the water noises. Jose is asking for a subscriber fish off. Dude, I, so the problem with that is, is my schedule so up in the air. It's just hard to do anything with other folks that like, it just, it's, there are too many like um, moving parts with that. It's just, that's kind of difficult to really put together is what it is. Favorite song right, right now? What am I listening to the most? It's probably still Death of an Executioner by 
Pierce the Veil. That's probably the song I'm listening to the most right now. I just beat, I'm just hammering that to death right now. Just hammering it. That's a pretty good album too, actually. Anyway. Um, what else were we talking about? Shane's never heard of it. Well, you've never heard of good music, Shane. That's okay. That's okay. Enlighten yourself. Enlighten yourself. Oh, I got a yacht invite. Well, it's about time. You know, some of y'all out there have like houseboats and stuff. And have never invited me. Shame on you. Shame, shame, shame. People are out here rolling around in like fifth wheelers with houseboats or homes on epic lakes and I have never once received an invite. Tell me how that's fair. I, I tell you if there's if there's a if there is uh, an example of life not being fair, that's it right there. Gosh. All I do for you too. The the sweat, blood and tears that I pour into this and not a single how you doing nothing. Oh, goodness. There got to be some people watching live stream like, he's all me, 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 isn't he? I do have a GoPro. I have the Hero 8 and the Hero 9. So I might have to... Uh, uh, I, I might have to... Um, wait, is my brother live right now? Dude, what's that jumping out of the water? Something just jumped out of the water after some bait right there. Don't know what it was. Rock Chalk from Kansas. Dude! Hunter Dickinson! Boom! That's going to be fun, dude. However, we had like half the team transfer out. Holy monkeys. I was sad to lose um, uh, the big man. Uh, uh, you know who I'm talking about. The good defender. I don't know if he was ever going to develop much of a shot. But, uh, what's his name? You know who I'm talking about. Dude's a beast. He's, he's like, he's super lanky. And he looked very promising on the defensive side of the ball. I don't know how much he would have helped on, like, he could have cleaned up the glass, I'm sure. But, um, you know who I'm talking about. He went to TCU. He just transferred to TCU. Anyway, kind of sad about that, but nobody wants to wait these days to play. So... Shame, shame, shame. We need to hear some more drag peeling here pretty soon. What's up, homeboy? Yeah, we already got a couple fish in the boat. Yeah, heck yeah, man. Get that. It's a piggy shirt. I actually, I, I gotta get, uh, I gotta put out some more merchandise. I gotta dream up some stuff here. It's time. It's time. Come up with maybe a catfishing shirt, maybe another saltwater shirt. I might start doing just some more like simple designs, just like simple, basic, basic yet big, beauty, beautiful, something like that. I don't know. Mona Cooper wants to know what's up with the bees. I don't even know. I've been letting them rest. Apparently, I had been checking them too often, so I have given them like a two-week rest. Some people, it's like some people shit check on the bees like once a month. Some people check on them like once a week. I've given my bees like a two or three week rest. Last time I checked on my bees, they were kind of lazy. I'll give you guys an update soon in one of my videos. So hang tight. But my bees are there. They're just kind of vibing. So not, not, I can't really do anything about that. I mean, I'm trying, I'm trying, but. Gas is expensive. It's gone up. It's like 360 or something like that now up here. So Rebecca, I should make a seasoning. I need to. I'm at a quarter of a million subscribers now. It's time. Ace hasn't been live in nine months. Bro, what are you doing? Yeah, I've got to, uh, I've got to make, I mean, last time I checked on the hive, everything was good. Everybody was happy, everything was solved. But um, I do need to keep an eye on that. I will. Actually, I'm going to do that this weekend. Actually, I might do that tomorrow. I'm getting home tomorrow pretty early. 
I'm not gonna hang out here too long. There's some darker clouds moving in over here, so that might drive me home sooner than later. But... Oh, what's that? Hold up. Either it's just bouncing with the current, or we just got a nibble. It looks suspicious. Control motor's working hard to keep us right here. Rebecca says, "Tell more jokes." I need to come up with more jokes. I don't have I don't have like an arsenal of jokes. <laughs> Uh, there was the one. You, you have to think about this. I, was, <laughs> I got in a fight with a little person on the way over here. Um, actually, on my way to the island, I got in a fight with a little person. I actually rear-ended him. And uh, I got out of the vehicle. He got out of his vehicle. Went back. We looked at the bumpers. He put his hands on his hips. Looked at the bumper. Looked up at me and said, I am not happy. And I said... Well, which one are you? <laughs> and then a fight broke out. <laughs> oh, that's a good one. Oh, my goodness. Oh. I like that one. Jim, it's like, wow. That's all, no words. No words from Jim. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh my gosh. Feel free to use that if you want. <sighs> Good stuff. Good stuff. Oh, there's a porpoise. Sun's heading down behind us. <laughs> Pablo. Pablo's gonna take it literally. He's like, whoa, man. Whoa. Uh, what's on the front of my hat? It's a crab, actually. Look at that. Isn't that cool? The blue crab. He was grumpy all of a sudden. <laughs> oh, that's such a good one. What's up, Tucker? What is up, Tucker? <laughs> I would say you're terrible. Atta baby! Atta baby! Uh, oh my goodness. How awesome. How awesome. How long have I been live? Almost two hours. We probably got about another 45 minutes or so. Maybe another hour depending on that sun. Hopefully we can, uh, hopefully we can snag another one or two. <laughs> oh my goodness. Pablo's distressed. Pablo's like, I am bothered. I am bothered. I think something was messing with that one. Uh, I might be getting a different GoPro because my Hero 9, I've had it for like a year and a half, maybe two years, but I think some water's starting to get into it. And I get my underwater shots usually with that, but obviously I'm not going to do it anymore water's getting into it so pish posh what's up Josiah 
Yeah, dude, I'm glad the wind stopped too. Me too. Please do not rain on me tonight. I've got to finish my video tomorrow, please. It's supposed to not rain until like noon tomorrow. Please, I'm begging ya. I'm begging ya. I'm on my knees here. I have put two days into this video. Don't do this to me. Don't you put that evil on me. Come on, baby. Pablo's mom says hi. Hello to Pablo's mom. Um. Hmm. A lot of places I could go with that, but hello, Pablo's mom. Oh, there's something just jumped right. Oh, that was a gar. I just saw it come back out of the water. Get out of here. When's the next video coming out? Dude, I just published a video yesterday. What's up, Brody? Jose, Jose's out to offend somebody. He's like, I will not rest. Jose's like, I will not rest until somebody is unhappy about this. Good for you, Jose. Stick to your guns. Stick to your guns. Really just sticking it to the man is what he's doing. He's like, damn to the consequences. I am out for blood today. Oh. He's like, none of these jokes will fall short. I guess I need another drink. What do we have at the cooler? <laughs> oh, hey, I have a lemonade. I've got blueberry lemonade. Look at that. Oh, jeez. Mona Cooper's coming in hot. You're not messing around. A schmuckable? No, I think that just got bit right there. Come on, man. How do you feel about Jimmy G with the Raiders, dude? I think Jimmy G is a solid with the Raiders, dude. Man, we have five win team this year, man. We have five win team. I wouldn't be surprised if we start off hot. But I wouldn't be surprised if we start off like two and one or something like that. We're like, oh, look out. And then uh, and then it just goes downhill like we always do. I have, I have no hope for us this year. I think by October, we're all going to see the writing on the wall. The writing's on the wall. You said that I'll be gone, but if you call my name, just know that I'll come running. Oh man, that hits different. I forgot about that song. Anyway, ADTR. What a beautiful evening out here. Saints to the Super Bowl. You have Derek Carr as your quarterback. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. Oh, how much sugar does this have? I'll tell you. I don't even know what's high sugar. 54 grams? I mean, it's a pretty big number. It's a big boy number. There's no doubt about that. It's 54 grams, a lot of sugar. Confirm or deny for me, people. Max, good luck. 
Take it easy, get some rest. <laughs> Shane trying, <laughs> trying to pass soccer off as real football. That's a good one. Shane, that might be the best joke of the evening so far. <laughs> well done, Shane. Well done. You know, ever since, um, actually speaking of sugars and stuff, um, ever since old Bucket Face over at Deer Meat for Dinner, I don't even know that guy's name, actually. Um, Deer Meat for Dinner had his stroke um, from, well, he had, like, drank a Red Bull, and he had, like, two um, strokes. I told my wife, I was like, I kind of sat and thought about it, because, okay, number one, I used to drink a lot of Rob. Rob, over, okay, Rob, um... Uh, I used to drink a lot of energy drinks when I was, like, doing landscaping and stuff. I probably averaged, like, one a day during the week. Um, and then I've slowed down, definitely. But I still probably had an average of maybe one a week now. But ever since that, and now Rob's a lot older. He's, like, 44 or something like that, I think. Maybe he's older than that, but I, he's in his 40s, if I'm not mistaken. Seems like I heard that from somebody or something like that. Anyway, um... It kind of got me to think, I told my wife, I was like, I don't like, I mostly drink energy drinks just, you know, obviously for like the buzz you get, right? But, and then I do enjoy the taste of, of quite a few of them. But I was like, it's just not worth it. I mean, I did not plan on drinking energy drinks into my 40s, but I was like, why not stop now and maybe save yourself uh, and your body some of the heartache, if you will. So I actually have not had an energy drink for like at least a month now. Um, or maybe it's right at a month. Whenever that happened to him, uh, I have not had any energy drinks for that period of time. And I'm, I'm going to keep it that way. I was just like, I don't, you know, obviously nobody drinks an energy drink thinking like this is part of a balanced and nutritious diet, right? Um, everything in moderation, right? Everything in moderation. I don't care if it's, if it's water, you can drink too much water, ladies and gentlemen. That is a thing. Drink. People have died from drinking too much water. Um, so I'm not saying, all right, all right you guys got to go out there and, and I'm not wagging my finger at you. I just made a personal choice. I was like, I think I'm going to be done. I've got three kids. I've got a wife. And I, that, I think that's what struck me the most. I was like, what if something like that happened to me? There's plenty of risk in what I do anyway. Coming out here by myself, doing what I do. Oh, there's one. There's plenty of risk. Listen to that. Look, listen to that peel. You guys hear that? Why add to it by drinking, you know, these energy drinks that are obviously not good for you? I shouldn't probably do that. Holy cow. Jeepers. This is, uh, I think he hooked himself. Anyway, so I decided to stop. And like I said, it's been like a month now. And I'm feeling good. It's good to be good to not be drinking them. And I swear to you, I feel better. I told my wife, in fact, I didn't think about this until a couple of days ago. I was sitting there thinking, I was like, I've had like more energy, I feel like, since I've stopped drinking Red Bull and Monsters and Rock Stars. Like, I just feel like I have, like, before, if, if I tried to go like two or three days, um, like on, on six hours of sleep, I couldn't do it. I had to have an energy drink. Now it's like, I can. It's really weird. It's like, no, I can do like two or three days where I'm only getting like six, six hours of sleep and still going out and function. Before it's like, I had to rely on it. Maybe it's just a mental thing. It's like, oh, I need an energy drink. Like, cause this is my, my third day of only six hours or I'm averaging six and a half hours of sleep every night. Um, she's coming back this way now. So anyway, Dude, that was a good run by that fish. Starting to gain some ground on her now. Got her coming up. This current is ripping now, so we're fighting this. In fact, I almost thought it was like, if this thing goes, um, I might have to, I might have to uh, take the trolling motor off and follow it down. But she's coming. She's coming. She, she's way out there. She's probably about 100 yards to be down right honest with y'all. But anyway, so I haven't had energy, any, blah, 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 blah. I haven't had any energy drinks for a month now. Feeling good. Good decision, I think. I mean, it can't hurt me. It's not like, oh no, you have to live on energy drinks. I still have coffee in the morning. Still enjoy a Pepsi. Still enjoy, you know what my, kind of my substitute is, if I want a little bit of something, like a little caffeine boost, I'll have a Mountain Dew. 
which isn't as bad. I mean, you know, obviously it's not healthy for you, but it's not as bad as, as like a rock star or a Red Bull or something like that. So, but shoot, I don't even have a Mount, I haven't had a Mountain Dew in a while either now that I come to think. Come on, baby! Dude, that fish bit and took off. Ooh, gosh, my arms kind of get tired here. This is number three. Did I see my my dad's in the house? Is me ancient in the house? Did I, I missed that. Uh, oh, did I miss it? Oh, dude. Oh, my dad donated to her. My dad donated and I missed it. Oh, is my dad here? Thanks, Pops. Donated 20 bucks. What did he say? I gotta read it. Oh, he just donated $20. Thanks, Pops. Here she comes. She's swimming up. We're kind of manhandling her up this way now. I'm gonna turn, turn you guys down this way so you guys can watch her come in. Hopefully. Ready? Woo! Actually, we're gonna turn this up. Get turned. This feels like it's got some good weight to it again. She's right under the boat. Right under the boat. Good to be making some ground here. Come on, baby. She's right there. Haven't seen the sinker yet. Uh, uh. just broke it just broke off she just busted it off oh my heavens oh she bit through dudes look at that she bit through 80 pound mono just snapped it right clean dang it dang it what the heck we got it right up to the boat i'm gonna i'm gonna replace that whole thing dang it man you know if that hook doesn't get right if that hook doesn't get right, then uh, then that's what happens. <laughs> no steel leader on this one. You know, I probably should start doing. Oh well, I'm going to when I start doing the bigger, bigger shark fishing. I have actually had phenomenal luck with the 80 pound mono. I feel like I get more bites with this than the steel leader, um, and I've had no problems with it. Honestly, I, I like. Well, that's the first one that's bit through. We've. Um, the other one broke at the leader. The other one just threw the hook. That's the first break off out of five fish. So, I mean, I, I, that's pretty good to me. But if we're gonna start doing serious shark fishing, um, I should probably do like some steel leader. Fooey! Fooey! Huh. We still got time. I got time. I think they're just sand sharks. Cowboys to the Super Bowl. That might be the best joke of the night, actually. Hey oh! Dude, it's been the Cowboys year for ever since I was little. That is the one team that they they could just the Cowboys can go four and thirteen and, and they will still get all the headlines. Oh, gosh. I just, I don't get it. I do not understand it. It's like any other team that's cheeks would not get the kind of publicity. But it's the Cowboys, and they could be Cheeks McGee like they typically are. And it's like everybody's all over that. I mean, isn't that all? That's like first take. Isn't that, that's like all they talk about. Skip, skip. That's like, uh, I mean, that it's every, I, I stopped listening to first take because like I couldn't, like, it would be like an hour and a half of a of a two hour show was talking about the Cowboys. I was just could not. I was like, oh, I'm done with this. I couldn't fathom it. Do we have, we've caught like two sand sharks so far. Uh, so that's what we're catching. I guess that answers your question. Durr. We have a chance at all kinds of different sharks though. Oh, give it a shout out to the shorts. Thank you. I appreciate you noticing. You know, 
Thank you. I work hard to look good. Sorry, Gary. Um, and it, it, it helps when people notice that the fit is clean. You know? Packers are the best. Oh, Pablo's heading out. Pablo, take it easy, man. Have a good weekend. Pablo, I'm not assuming anything, but drink a Modelo for me. I mean, maybe, maybe not. I'm just thinking a name like Pablo, you probably enjoy hitting a Modelo or two. See you, fish head videos. Oh, Pablo's underage. Pablo, don't you dare touch any alcohol then. Don't you dare. Gosh, Pablo. Sheesh. Sheesh, Pablo. Come on. Say no to drugs and underage drinking, Pablo. Stay clean. I'll enjoy one for you, Pablo. How about that? And a margarita. I can't get this knot to tie. Holy cow. What's up, Everett? Is that tied? Oh, maybe I tied it. Durr. Sean, happy 29th. That feels pretty good. Never mind. We've been catching fish, kicking butt, taking names. You know how it is. That's right. Say no to drugs and premarital intercourse. All right, we're throwing this thing back out. Fresh bait, for those of you who are asking, here you go. That, we're using Stingray for bait, and it's been phenomenal. It's been really phenomenal. Anchors away! on the bottom we're fishing like a 30 foot hole right back here like well it's getting shallower with the tide going out but hey we're doing what we can with what we got what's up mate dude mate I like it. Uh, i think sand sharks are good to eat. i think they're basically like an atlantic sharp nose i think you can eat them i'd have to look up the regs on those I'm not sure what those are Mind, baby. Oh, you know, let me make sure this is loose. There we go. Rob, I'm glad you made it here too. Grilled sand shark tacos. Hmm, that sounds delicious. Y'all, we have missed out. I have missed the live streams. I'm glad we're back on this. We gotta do this again. Preferably if like I kind of like to fish this at low tide. I feel like low tide, like the bite's usually better. I mean, not that it's been bad tonight. Don't get me wrong, but man, we gotta come out here. Just throw it down. I miss doing this. You know, we gotta find a good catfish spot. Maybe we'll head to Monticello next. Do a little catfishing off a hump or something like that. That'd be a false solid live stream. If the catfish are biting. Something just jumped behind me.
Jewel asks, are you an introvert or an extrovert? Bro, what do you think? Take a wild guess. Take a wild guess. I'll bet you can't guess. Lance is calling another bite in less than 10 minutes. I like it, Lance. Bro, I'm allowed to use like unlimited rods off the boat. And I'm only allowed to use 10 rods on shore. Dude, I can't even imagine rigging up 10 rods. Dude, that's insane. How do you even manage that? I don't know. I don't know how you do, but I guess you do. This isn't a catch and cook. Jose, you wanna go uh you wanna go fish uh Monticello? Dude, yeah, cause like, dude, like Marie's just cheeks. Actually, I need to go set more bush hooks in the river. I need to pick another stretch of river, set some bush hooks. But Monticello would be fun for a live stream. Marco, I'm not gonna cook on the boat tonight. A little late. That's a lot of work. I mean, it, it requires a lot of goings on. Um, we'll do it again. It's just not right now. So, sorry. Rob donates 50 bucks. Holy cow, Mr. Rob. Rob, thank you for some bigger hooks so you can get that monster kitty next time you set lines. Rob, thank you. You know what, Rob? That's just for you then. We're gonna go get big hooks and we're gonna set some more bush hooks. AKA set lines, AKA limb lines. Rob, thank you, that's very generous. I appreciate that, I really do. I appreciate everybody who's donated this evening, this afternoon. Um, first time back in the live stream game for like, in like six or seven weeks. It's been a minute, but we're having fun. We're catching fish, we're losing fish too. Rob, I'm gonna take that 50 bucks. I am going to get some bigger hooks for the bush hooks. I'm also going to get some steel cable for the shark fishing so we don't have them bite through anymore. So thank you, I appreciate it. I uh, I basically take all the donation money and put it back into the channel. I buy stuff for like creating more videos. So you guys basically support like more interesting videos and stuff. So thank you. If you want to know where the money's going, I'm not like sending it to like an offshore bank account or something like that. I don't even know, I don't make that. All right. But like, you know, I'm not, I don't know. I'm just investing it back into the channel into more high adventure videos. So that's where it goes. In fact, I've got to, uh, like I was talking about earlier, we got to get, uh, hey, there's Tash. I got to get some heavier duty or um, uh, shark rod and reel setups. We're going to do that because I mean, I mean, guys, there is a legit opportunity. I could hook like an eight foot bull shark. We're in an area where that could happen. Absolutely. We could hook a six foot hammerhead. That could happen. What I've got out right now is not going to pull a six foot hammerhead in. It's just not. Maybe a four foot shark in, probably. Oh man, dude, my muscle looks good there. The sunlight, somebody take a snapshot of that and send it to me. I'm gonna point like it's natural. Let's pretend like it's natural. The sun's setting in the back. I'm gonna just like naturally flex there. There we go. Turn that boy out. Anyway. I forgot what I was saying. Um, anyway, these rods, <laughs> these rods will not get that done. I'm gonna get some rods that can get that done. So then we're not just sitting here watching my line go bzzz when we do indeed hook up on a fish like that, so. Dude, I'm looking yoked in the camera. I don't know why, like, why don't I look this good to myself? Hmm, that gum. Everything looks better in the mirror. I wonder if people are always taking videos at the gym. Golly. I look at my arm and I'm like, that's an average male arm. Then I look at it in the camera, I'm like, dude, freaking beefcakes here, jeepers. The shoulders size of the rock here. I might be going too far, but you know what I'm saying. How about that though? Is that not beautiful or what? Right behind you, you're welcome. You're welcome, that's gorgeous.
you're up survivors like calm down don't tell me how to live my life Oh, uh, but that's beautiful. That is also telling me, and we've got me about 40 minutes left or so. So, I, uh, we'll see if we can get one more. See if we can get another one before time runs out. I don't have lights and stuff with me. I'm obviously, I'm a little nervous being out in the ocean. Now, I'm in the creek right now, technically. But, uh, I'm a little nervous being out here at night. Just because if something did go wrong with the boat, like electronically i'm just at the mercy of the tide it's not like a lake where it's just like oh i'll just drift into shore somewhere like i go with the tide and i probably would get lucky and hit the shore or something but just a whole different ball game man there's stuff in this water that will eat me you know there's not stuff in lake murray that will eat me um so you gotta be careful i don't want to become crab bait um so anyway i i don't have lights all that to say so I'm, we're not staying out into the night I do have a paddle, yes. That is required in every boat. Fun fact, to have a paddle. Um, so we do have a paddle. I've got a whistle. So, anyway, I don't know if we're going anywhere else with that. Oh, dudes, I was over here, so I was putting in at the ramp, and there were some folks fishing off of the, the, the dadgum pier, and he wouldn't bring his lines in. So I got one of his lines caught in my prop, and he wasn't paying attention. He was over there, like, blaring music. And so I get his line all cut in my prop. I'm like, dude, I got to cut this. He's like, yeah, sorry about that. has a cigarette hanging out of his mouth. I'm just like, God. Well, the dude turns back around. Like, I just parked at the ramp. I, I go out and park. I, I get his line caught in my prop. Park at the, at the uh, whatever it's called, the big floating thing, the dock. Go grab something out of my truck. Jump back in. Well, then I literally, I kid you not, as soon as I jump back in, I didn't back the truck down or anything. I was obviously, like, heading back out. He throws his line back out, like, right behind me. I, if I hadn't have seen it, I would have run over it again. I don't, like, I don't understand what it is with, pe like, people have just lost, like, all, all just sanity. What would he call it? Fishing etiquette when it comes to fishing. It just, what has happened? What is happening to fishing etiquette in this country? It's a shame. Golly, that's beautiful. Dang it. I didn't get much better than this. Calm night. It's very rare, it seems like, you get a calm night down here at the coast. This is gorgeous, man. What a state. I live in this state, man. This is like a dream. Shark fishing. Crappy fishing. Striper fishing, cat fishing, brim fishing, snake hunting, turtle hunting. I haven't gotten into like turkey or deer hunting, hog hunting. I got flounder fishing, red fishing. Man. Just awesome. Got the coast. I mean, can you beat this right here? This is phenomenal. No seams that'll eat you alive. Does come with that. Hordes of mosquitoes as well so you know you have to fight off those things thanks man thanks outdoors with tim south carolina is just an awesome state i love it here man i don't like the heat man i was out here in the sun i was out here in the heat catching bait and stuff i didn't care bloated with water now, but I didn't care. Dude, I would fish for croaker. In fact, I actually have a little rod set up for like shrimp and stuff, but the it's the, the current's just too raging right here. It's just too raging. I'd need to be back up in a little creek or something like that to give that a go. We are, uh, we are right out in the middle. Headed to the coast tomorrow. I don't know, dude, it looks like a screensaver back here. Hmm. It doesn't get much better than this, y'all. I'll tell you that. It does not get much better than this. It's going to dump rain on me tonight, isn't it? Just for that. It's like, enjoy. Enjoy because tonight in the tent... You are getting, you're going to get sprinkled dinkled on. 
Not even just sprinkle hot. It's going to be a deluge. It's going to be a downpour. You can feel it. Just feel it. I'll send you guys pictures on Instagram if it happens. Dude, I can't take a picture of the sunset because I'm using my, uh, uh, <coughs> my phone, my phone for, uh, for the live stream. The Sprinkle Dinkle, am I allowed to say Sprinkle Dinkle when I turn 30? Dude, I got kids. I say all kinds of weird stuff, man. There are, there are phrases that come out of my mouth that I thought I would never utter until I had kids. And, like, sometimes I'll say it. I'll, like, stop, like, turn to my wife and I'm like, what? What? What did I just say? Oh, it's awesome. What's your favorite fish? The next fish. That's my favorite one. Come on, baby. Sprinkle Dinkle t-shirt snacks. Dude, I need Sprinkle Dinkle seasoning. The birth of an idea. You just saw the birth of a beautiful idea. Sprinkled Eagle seasoning. High adventure. Ah, yes! Yes! Let me check the bait on this one. I don't know if I'd sell much of that, to be honest with you. People would be like, sprinkle what? <laughs> ah. What do you want on your fish? Could you uh, sprinkle dinkle on my fish, please? Want some on your pork? Put a little sprinkle dinkle on your pork too. Good with pork. Yeah, do you ask the sprinkle dinkle for? Yeah, absolutely. Without hesitation, sir. Would you mind putting a little sprinkle dinkle in my soup? Oh, yes. <laughs> it would give me pleasure, sir. I'm gonna put a fresh bloody piece on here. We got about 30 minutes left, be my guess. Look at that! Isn't that beautiful? Goodbye, son. Until tomorrow, you take it easy on the other side of the world. Tell them I said hey. There are probably some people watching now that are getting ready to see him. You were good today. Did a good job, man. Come back tomorrow. Appreciate you. Hey, uh, I got a little burned on the back though. I only had my shirt off for like 40 minutes. That was a little uncalled for. Otherwise, phenomenal job today. I don't know what the next fish looks like, man. That's the fun. That's the fun of this. You don't ever know. You don't know what's around the corner, man. There you go. Oh. That's what's been bringing them in. Ugh. All right. Good luck. Godspeed! At the bottom yet? I just missed a donation, sorry. Shadowrunner says, I too am from South Carolina. Shadowrunner, thank you for the donation. Thank you, awesome. Awesome fellow South Carolinian. I'm gonna chum this piece out, there we go. We used a whole, I'm just looking at the sun set in the screen. It's just amazing, man. That's cool. That sure is pretty.
just for us, y'all. That was made just for us. What do you think of that? That's pretty cool. We're catching shark. I thought that was in the description. Did I not put shark fishing in the description? Maybe not. Anyway, we're using, um, we're using, uh, whatever we're using. We're using, I keep forgetting the name. It's got a little spike on its tail. It's not a dinosaur. It is a stingray. We're using stingray for bait. Snowy waffle. I'm <laughs> glad you enjoy the videos. Oh, you know, I better turn my lights on. It is starting to get dark. Or I see a boat coming. Ugh. I mean, it's still pretty light out, but I do have a camo boat. So anybody who's just looking at me, it just looks like I'm sitting on top of the water. They can't see. They can't see the boat. lights are on folks we probably have about 15 more minutes 15 more minutes before i'm off to call it it's gonna be dark oh i gotta still load the boat up and stuff so i gotta make sure i uh have light for all that but you know what we're gonna hit we're gonna take one last hit off of slim gym here if i can i can't even open it my hands are too like like too greasy man Look at that, it's like a push pop, right out. How many licks does it take to get to the center of a Slim Jim? Mm. We may never know. There's something wrong about that. Let's never do that again. Here comes a boat. I got them like a spicy batch, dudes. Ooh, Slim Jim's over a fire. Slim Jim's roasting on an open fire. Jack Daniels nipping at your nose. That was pretty good for on the spot, I'm not gonna lie. Got some waves coming. <laughs> Who's got the username of Claritas Mama Shorts? I don't know how to feel about that. I just don't know. I don't know if I should ban you from the channel or just, that, that's just a good chuckle, you know? I feel like there's a fine line you're walking there. Dang deep bead boats. Ah! There we go. Uh, well, it started off with a bang today. The busting it song. <laughs> uh, that was good. That was a live stream, wasn't it? Busted that one out. I'm surprised you remembered that. Busting it. Busting it. Busting it. Busting it. <laughs> that was good. It was good stuff. I, think I did that one on the pier with Asa. Jared, Jared, you sicko. Jared's got his ear up to the, got his ear. Jared's got his ear up to the speaker, like, listening. Hey, you weirdo. Come on, Jared. Gosh. You've, got, you've gone too far, Jared. You've gone too far. It was all fun. It was all fine. And you just, 
you stepped across the line, Jared. Way to go. Way to go. There's so much bait in the creeks right now. <coughs> Man, guys, I'm gonna regret. I've had like three Slim Jims just sitting right here. I'm gonna regret that later. I can just tell you right now. Mm. Yeah, Jared's in a recording studio. Big speakers. Got he's got like bows on his ears. Got like bows headset. He's like. Check out this. So that's pretty behind us. But look at that as well, right there. That pretty. That's real pretty, man. We're fishing at the South Carolina coast. That's where is we's fishing. Dude, not as pretty as this merch. Absolutely. This shark necklace, you guys want to get in and on any of this action, buy some high adventure merch. I sell kids stuff, women's stuff, men's stuff. Uh, you can find it in the description on my videos. Actually, there's usually a whole big bar that uh, has all my uh, link to all, like you'll see like all my shirts, like some of my shirts lined up. Click on that. I've got like five designs, I think, five designs to choose from. So anyway. Or you can get the octopus necklace there. I have a link to the octopus necklace directly in the description of my video. So, um, Pablo's back. Pablo, I do have little people stuff as well. Absolutely. Absolutely. In fact, just head straight to the kids section, man. I got you covered. I got, I was thinking of you, Pablo. I was like, Pablo's going to want some merch. I was like, better make that child size an XL. Hit the button. Bam. Popped up. I was like, I know one man. I know one man that he's going to enjoy this. So. Like, I too forget to, to nourish my body when I'm out here fishing. Much to the chagrin um, of my wife. So. She gets on to me if she's found out I have missed a meal while I'm out here, so. What's up, bubs? See, I like, I like posts like Drew and Charlie. Drew and Charlie, that is awesome. That is awesome. See, we need more subscribers like Drew and Charlie. Ha <laughs> ha! No, but thank you, Drew. I appreciate it. My brother and I, we got different styles. Every, a little bit of something. For, we sprinkle dinkle a little bit in there for everybody. Every walk of life, you know. What's up, Antoine? Oh, I, mean, I tell you what, this has been like the most beautiful day in the live stream. This has been phenomenal. Beautiful afternoon. We came out at the perfect time too. I was waiting. I was going to come out like about an hour earlier, but it was just so hot. I was like, I don't want to come out here and die. I don't want to die on the live stream. That would be a bummer to come out here and just like give up the ghost. And then you guys are just sitting there watching while I'm like sprawled out on the boat heaving my last you know and everybody's just like well here's five dollars you know yo micah what's good <laughs> like donates five dollars like ten dollar donation like like a hippo is like yo you got this you know a little hippo gif you know that kind of stuff so i waited just a little longer and it's been good man it's been good Clarita's mama shorts demands that I say hi to Brady. I'm just saying it just because like, I don't, I don't know about, I don't know. She might not show up ever in another live stream with that kind of username. I just don't know, man. It's, not, it's just not, it's not rubbing me the right way. It's just, I don't know. Something about that. It just makes me question a whole lot. 
It would be nice to hear this drag peel one more time. Gee, you're waiting for me to come fish West Virginia. Mountain mama, take me home. Yes, sir, I'll do it. It'll happen. Dude, licking the Slim Jim is probably the biggest regret I have of this live stream so far. We'll definitely go back and edit that out. Because that was, like, I started to do it, and I immediately regretted it. It was one of those things, you know how that is, like, when you start to say something, and, like, it just, it just comes spilling out, and, and you can't stop it at that point. But immediately your mind's like, what are you doing? What are you doing? And just, like, as soon as I started the action... My, like, my brain couldn't get to my hand and my tongue fast enough to tell him to stop. Even though I was thinking it, the brain already was like, don't you dare. But it, the action had already started to take place. And it's probably because I've been out in the heat a lot. And so I just did it. And I finally, it got there after I had licked it. And it was like, you can't take it back now. You know, it, it, you just got to keep rolling and pretend like nothing happened. Um, but yeah. I do have regrets in life as well. That's one of them. That's definitely one of them. And uh, unfortunately, I'm probably not going to forget that for a long time. So I'll try. But unfortunately, this live stream, I'm going to have this live stream to remind me. Hmm. Anyway. There you go. How are the bees? Dude, I'll let you know as soon as I know how the bees are doing. I'll update them. I'll update you guys on them shortly, soon. Haji, go get yourself some snapper turtle, bro. Bring it in for the real thing. Loving the catfish videos. Love to hear that. You could have canceled licking the Slim Jim. <laughs> like shoving it up your nose. That wouldn't have been much better, to be honest with you. I don't know if that would have been the, the, the alternative route I sh should have taken, but it's definitely something uh, something that is a, a possibility. It was definitely a possibility, I guess. It, that just didn't occur to me at the time. No, there will not be a repeat of licking the Slim Jim. That was a one-time thing. That was a one-off. Um, that will never happen again. Dude, I could already even have a slogan for the have a break. Have a slim jim. Then that just then that just rub you right. Or something. Then that I don't know, why would we say that? Have a break. Have a slim jim. I promise I didn't steal that from anything anywhere else. You've never heard that until now. But I just feel like that's a good that'd be a good slogan. Like when you're on a break, that's what I do when I'm out here on the boat. I have a break, I have a slim jim. Almost always. Lick it to a Slim Jim. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No. No, I don't think so. Dude, eight foot shark. Nice. Snap it to a Slim Jim. I like it. I'm thinking of all kinds of like uh, <laughs> slip gym stuff. Uh. Oh gosh. Uh, there are so many <laughs> so many options with Slim Jim. Slim Jim is really just the gift that keeps on giving. Uh Slim Jim satisfies. Nothing satisfies like a Slim Jim. Uh, maybe I'll do another Lager video. I never say never. What's up, man? Oh, 
sticking on a slim jim. I don't know. I don't know, man. There's <laughs> just so many, so many good ones out there. <laughs> uh, we'll probably let a lot of those just go on by, though. Um, what do we got here? Uh, I don't play Timothy Ask. Do I play video games? Not really. I have been known to play a little Modern Warfare on my phone from time to time. Um, little Warzone, little, uh, little, uh, Ground War when it's available. But, nah, not really a big, like, I don't play a whole lot of video games, I guess. I didn't even know the other day, I, I didn't even know, like, the Mario people, or all the, the Mario characters. I didn't know who the turtle, oh, there's one, right there. I didn't know the, who the turtle was in Mario. I still don't remember. Got him. Holy shnikes. Here we go. This might be the fish we end on if I can get him in. Come on, Micah. Oh. Woo. That's a fish. Come on. This is perfect timing to you because it's starting to get dark. Come on, big mama. You come this way. Come on. Come this way. Got her turned. Come on, baby. This is a pretty weighty fish, it feels like. The nice thing about using this big bait, too, is it eliminates the gar. There are quite a few gar up in this brackish water. Um, I don't have to worry about hooking the daggum gar. There we go. Look at this little sunset shark. Oh, go. Don't pause there. Come on, keep coming this way. Going this way. Keep going. Come on. Come on. Swim, you fool. Gaining some ground. She's swimming sideways. You guys know how it is. We'll get her up to the boat and she's going to freak out. Oh, freak out. Da -da -dun -dun -da -dun -da -dun. But we've gained ground after that initial run. Didn't like that right there. Oh, it's a half moon now. What do you know? If I just keep gaining weight, you're going to see a half moon. Got to get that under control. Oh, like a flock of something. Here we go. All right, she's coming up now. We're gaining. You're way back there, y'all. Yeah, buddy. Rolling like a big shot. Chevy suit up like a mask. Look at that. Turning and burning. Cranking and... I don't know. I'll let you guys finish that. Come on. One last shark for the evening. Get her in. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, yeah. She's up to the side. Oh, wait. There she is. Nice shark. Not a bad shark at all. I'll turn you guys this way. Go behind a little bit. There she is. Come on, baby. There we go. That's not bad. Swing this way. Ah, that didn't work. Yeah, this rod's just too long. Story of my life. Rod's just too big for this kind of thing. Well, especially with just one person. Come on, baby. There she is. Yes! Didn't lose.
that one. Here we go. Sheesh. That rock put in some work today, y'all. Put in some work. Ended on a high note. Get a run hooked here. Oh, you know, I got lights in this boat. What am I doing, you dingleberry? There we go. Oh, I need pliers. Y'all, that is how you end a live stream right there. You get yourself a nice shark at sunset. Man, what a blessed day. What a blessed day. That is how I spent it for like 270 of my friends. That hook was not coming out. Hook beautiful in the corner of the mouth. I'm gonna take that whole thing, throw it over the side so it doesn't get all tangled up. There you go. About a three footer right there. There you go. That's not what I'm, that's, that is so cool. We did it. I mean, oh, at the 11th hour, y'all. I mean, it's it's time to go. Right now, if I hadn't had a fish, I'd probably be telling y'all, toodles. But we got us a nice shark to end it. No, it's okay, I'm not gonna turn you into food. Got us a nice one. There you go. That is so awesome. Man, she's just super strong. Super strong. Cool. Let me show. Let's let her get back in the water. Head back into the food, the food chain, whatever. There you go. Look, she's just unhappy. There you go. Sweet. We did it, y'all. Boom. Three sharks. Caught three, lost three. What do you guys think? Do we need to come back and do this for my birthday? I feel like we should. Come back with some heavy gear. Do this on my birthday. I feel like it's pretty fun. What do you guys say? I think we should. I mean, that's pretty good action too, I'd say. Maybe what we do too is, if I can get started earlier, if the weather's not terrible, maybe we could cook one up on the boat. That would be fun. Come out here, have like a little birthday cake action for our 30th birthday. Do like, um, do like a little shark catch and cook on the boat. Have the lines out. That'd be fun. Well, to, the weather permitting, right? That's always the biggest thing. You guys noticed, like earlier today, the weather is, uh, was a little windy, made it a little bit unpleasant, not very pleasurable. Sorry, a boat just went by. Um, but uh, yeah, that, that might be exactly what we have to do. That sounds like fun. A little birthday shark fishing. I could get behind that. Anyway, all right, y'all. Thank you. Once again, I want to say thanks to everybody who donated during the live stream. I really appreciate it. I know it takes some time off, but you know, you don't have to donate. You don't, but you choose to. You support the channel, and uh, I really appreciate that. I support everybody who just watches the videos. That I, I appreciate that. It supports my channel, um, uh, and I'm just thankful for it. Thank you, guys. Y'all make the channel go. Y'all make the channel tick. So um, hopefully I keep the content fun. And keep you guys around and enjoying it. So, I am not gonna go like a slim gym, gear up survival. Thank you to the mods who kept everything fun, light, and airy. And um, hope you all had a good time. Hope the chat was relatively clean, except for those of you who were dumping on my channel. But uh, anyway, y'all, what's tomorrow? Friday. Tomorrow is Freaky Naughty Friday. Enjoy the weekend. Have a good Friday. More videos next week. I've actually got two videos that I have to edit. So we got plenty of videos ready to come up. So um, I'm going to go enjoy the last 17 days of being 29 in my 20s. And uh, yeah, I'll catch you guys relatively soon here. Probably the next live stream is going to be around the birthday. But enjoy the next video next week. Probably be out again on Tuesday or Wednesday next week. And um, thank you guys for tagging along. Have a great weekend. Crush the weekend. And uh, I'll be posting some stuff on my Instagram just to kind of show you guys what I've been up to and some behind the scenes stuff. So anyway, have a good one. I'm signing off now. We all got a beautiful sunset this evening. That was fun. Cheers. Peace. Deuces. Whatever you want to say.